healthy brain with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a get ready with me. And I'm super excited about this video because I'm gonna be doing a, I'm gonna be spilling my coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a, um, uh, all right. Give me a minute. Let me, uh, all right, well, uh, let's uh, pretend we actually know what's going on today. How about we do that? Today, I'm super excited because I am going to be doing a first impression on my friend Love Melissa Michelle's collaboration palette with Ulta. Um, can we just not talk about the current situation of my skin? I feel like Karma Cafe is like knocking on my door. I'm always like, I have normal skin. Oh, my skin is so normal. And then all of a sudden, bam, 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 bam. I have all these inhabitants on my skin. Um, yeah, it's not fun, but whatever. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you guys know who Melissa Michelle is, but she has an amazing channel here on YouTube. She was one of the very first channels that I subscribed to. I just really like her. She's one of those YouTubers where she's like my friend in my head. I have a couple of those, like April Athena. She's totally one of my best friends in my head. So um, her channel is Loveless and Michelle, and she came out with this palette for Ulta Beauty. And when I saw the colors, I was like, <laughs> this is totally up my alley. So that's what you have to look forward to later in this video. Aside from that, we're gonna be using a lot of new products. I don't know if I'm going to try a new foundation though because I have a lot of stuff to do today and I really don't want to risk my life that way for you guys. I mean, I am about that thug life, but maybe not so much when I need to go to Costco in this awesome shirt with patches all over it. So um, I'm going to try the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So it's a primer slash moisturizer. And I didn't even put my moisturizer on today just for you guys. I put on my serum because nobody goes anywhere without their serum. But I didn't put on moisturizer. So this is supposed to be a moisturizer slash primer. I don't know how I feel about that because most of the time primers claim to like, you know, have blurring effects and um, smoothing and pore filling. And if it's like a moisturizer, I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's a moisturizing primer. You know what I'm saying? It does have hyaluronic acid, which sometimes my skin doesn't like, which is weird because it's naturally found in the skin. But um, I guess we'll see. I mean, my face is already massively broken out and you probably can't tell because of these bright lights. But in the center portion, like right in between my brows and my entire chin, there's two different villages happening right now. It's just, oh, I'm a mess, you know? Then we're gonna go in with corrector. You guys see the clips falling out of my hair? I like put them in tight, but not so tight, but a little tight so that they don't crimp my hair. But I was like, you know what? Today your hair's already like kind of in every direction possible. So if there is a crimp in there, it's not like, it's no big deal, right? So we're only gonna do it for a little short while while we do our foundation. Um, so yeah, what should we talk about today? What's the tea that we're gonna spill today? Um, I don't know a lot. I think last Get Ready With Me, I told you guys I was gonna tell you the story of each of my dogs, but I think that I should leave that for its very own video. You know what I'm saying? Like, its own video of um, just a dog video, kind of like a vlog video, so that you guys know exactly what the video is about, so you don't click on it expecting to hear about makeup, and then I'm over here giving you like these long dissertations about my four dogs. <laughs> so there's that. Um, what else? Oh, you know what? You know what we should talk about? And I feel like this is the prominent theme for the season of summer um, on my channel and my vlogs. When we talk about like emo stuff, like emotional sensitivity and emotional awareness or whatever. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm not um, on dating sites anymore. I hid my profiles. I just used two. I used Bumble and I used Match and I just hid my profiles. All right, so we have these uh, foundations from Laura Mercier that I received. They're the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. Now these sound ideal for right now, this horrendous weather that we're experiencing. Although I'm kind of a fan of summer. I don't know about you guys, but 
I don't, it just, the heat, it, I, I don't know, it feels good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm those people that, like, will go to the mall or run errands or whatever, and when I get in my car and my car's warm, I'll literally sit there for a couple seconds and just kind of, like, I like to rewarm myself. I know, I'm a little strange. But these aren't my color, and if I mix them together, they're close to my color, but you can see that they're not. So what I'm thinking is maybe mixing these two, so just get a couple of drops of this in the in like the mix. The color will match, but I won't be like getting the full experience of the actual product. So have you guys noticed that this hair and this nail polish makes me look extra tan? <laughs> I was like, we haven't talked about your tan in like three minutes. We probably need to talk about it again. All right, all right, back to the tea. Obviously, I'm trying to change the subject on you guys. Ooh, I don't know, this is looking kind of dark. It's actually looking really dark. Oh no, what should I do? What should I do? Do I have any white foundation? I used to have white foundation and I was always like, what am I supposed to even do with this? And then some of you guys told me like, Danny, it's too, you know. Captain Obvious. All right, well, we're just making a mess over here. We're, we're cooking foundation. I added a couple of drops of the other one that's like the pink looking one. It's lighter, it's a little pink. You guys, I really hope this matches because I'm gonna be that lady at Costco with like a foundation mask. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty dark. Should I do it anyway? I don't want to be the foundation mask girl. Um, all right, let's figure something out. Give me a minute. All right, you guys know how I feel about waste. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, apply, I put it on my chin. How does it look? It's just so hard to tell because in here, I'm under the lighting, like the inside the house lighting and then this lighting, and I can't tell if it's actually my color. This video is gonna be like 47 minutes of me trying to decipher if this is a color match or not. Doing like weird like double chin faces. Mm, you know what you guys? YOLO, we don't waste product around here. If you don't mind, I'm gonna leave the light on just to see how it's shaping up on my skin, but I'll turn it right off as soon as I'm done with the foundation portion of this video. So yeah, I'm not on dating um, sites anymore. I kind of, they started to feel like a job. You know what I mean? And they started to feel disingenuous and I thought like any person that I connect with at this point is not gonna be getting my full attention or is not gonna be getting the respect that they deserve because if they're looking for a serious relationship and I'm just like half in, half out, it's definitely not, I wouldn't want someone to do that with me. You know what I mean? And when you have someone in your life that's like occupying your thoughts, um, and it's not necessarily in the romantic way, it's in the, huh, well, what is this kind of way? I just enjoy spending time with you, like whatever it is. And this is the conversation that I had with my mom the other day. I was telling her, I was like, it's not like a romantic connection. It's just like someone that you like to be around that makes you laugh, that, you know, that makes you realize that you're not necessarily missing anything in your life. They're just complimenting it. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I should get a trophy for how cryptic I am in all my videos. And this is just how I am in life. Like, I have some of my friends that tell me, they're like, can you just say what you're trying to say without saying it like that? <laughs> So I don't like uh, to label things and I don't like to, um, you know, be so in the box because the most important and special people are the ones that come out, come into your life and don't fit in the box, you know what I mean? So like the story of how my ex and I met or the story of how me and Sam met, you know, some of the most important and biggest relationships in my life always happen outside of the box of rules, you know? So at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I know who I enjoy spending my time with. I know what I need and I know what I'm looking for. 
and it'll all just happen in time. And that kind of brought on the topic of time, you know, we're talking about stuff and time and how people are different and people need more time for things. And this foundation is definitely dark, but we're gonna bring it, <laughs> we're gonna bring it down to our belly button so that you can't tell that it's the wrong color. Make sure you get it on your ears too. Anyway, so I was talking to my friend Kelly about shape tape, about shape tape now. I was talking to my friend Kelly about time, like the concept of time. And I remember a few years ago, I don't know if you guys follow Still Glamorous here on YouTube, but her Instagram is actually very inspiring. She's kind of one of those very um, emotionally intuitive people. And she shares really cool posts on her Instagram. And a few years ago, she posted a uh, picture. It was so basic, you guys, like super basic. It was a picture of a pile of avocados that were all ripe and then a bright green avocado on top. And her caption was simple. It said, some of us just need a little more time. And so I was talking to um, my friend Kelly about that whole concept of time and you know what it means and how freaking tan am I that this looks white on me? <laughs> should be excited or appalled because I should know better than using a concealer that's this light when I'm not like gonna be I don't know in like a Hollywood or a Broadway production <laughs> so um yeah so I was just telling her like you know we we all we all have our different time comfort zones right whether it's telling someone that you love them or healing from a breakup or realizing that you need to break up. We all have that comfort zone timeline where if it's not right for us, it's not right. And nothing that you can do is going to make it right. No conversation that you have with a guy is gonna convince him to commit to you. You know, no um, action that someone does against you is gonna make you um, pull the plug on a marriage. It's, it's a timeline, it's a process, and all of us work so differently. We all have our own timeline. You know, um, there's so many stories of how you hear, well, you know, why did you stay in that marriage so long? And it's just, there's no explanation rather than we just all need our very own time, like our very own special timeline. So Kelly and I are having this conversation about time, right? And you know how all of us work on our own special clock. Um, and I told her, I said, you know, I never want to be that jerk that finds someone that's scared of water. And my mentality is, I'm gonna throw them in the pool and they'll get over it because it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? Like the only thing that you're gonna do is I hate to say traumatize because traumatize is such an intense word, but the only thing that you're going to do is cause damage. You're not going to help them. That's not going to, it's not like, oh, you fell off a horse, get back on. It's, they're scared of water. It's going to take them time to realize, hey, I think now I'm ready. Or, hey, I think now I'm curious. You know, it takes all of us a very specific, a very special, a very significant, a, I don't know, it's just, each of us has our own internal timeline and clock of when we're ready to do things, when we're ready to say things, when we're ready to commit to things, when we're ready to try new things, when we're ready to, you know, change a career or tell someone we love them or um, change your major or tell someone to F off and stop taking advantage of you. You know what I mean? Like each of us has our very own timeline and it's just so important that we respect each other, you know, where we try to be understanding and compassionate of one another. And I, I saw a, um, I saw a quote that Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, um, said about his wife, Blake Lively, the, those two actors. Um, and it resonated with me so much because he was talking about, you know, how, how much he loves her. And the number one reason why he loves her is because, um, she helped him realize that, uh, you know, he needed to kind of repair the relationship with his dad, I believe. I don't know if it was his parents or his dad or something like that. And he said that the, the most valuable lesson that she taught him was 
When you meet someone, you don't know their entire story. You don't know everything that has happened to them before that moment where they meet you or before that time where you guys start a relationship, whether it's a friendship, a partnership, um, you know, just any sort of connection with another person. You don't know the road that they've traveled. You don't know what's written in their book. You know what I mean? You don't know their story. So the, the best thing that you could do is meet someone in such a tender and compassionate way where you don't make any sort of assumptions. You give them a brand new shot, a brand new opportunity, and you get to know them as that individual person that they are, regardless of what has happened to you or what has happened to them. It's just a brand new start. And I just thought that was one of the most powerful messages that you can teach someone because it's true. You know, we don't know um, what's written in any of the other chapters of this person's life, you know. Maybe you meet someone that is hardened by life. Maybe you meet someone that has lived a really tough life or that has never felt valued or, or had a purpose. Someone that's always been discouraged. Someone that's, you know, felt that they never got a real chance. And so you could make a difference in their life. You could be that person that is the antonym of their entire life experience and makes them realize the difference. But just like I tell you that, I'm also going to tell you the best piece of advice that my mom always gives me. She's like, Daniela, some people are just assholes. <laughs> so I like to believe in the innate good in humans. That's just a flaw. I'm, I'm just going to admit it. That's just a flaw that I have. And I feel like that's why sometimes I get taken advantage of. You know, sometimes I get treated like a doormat or sometimes I get friend zoned or I don't get appreciated because I just give, 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 give. But that's just my style. Even my friend Josh tells me. I'm going to use um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe. Um, my friend Josh is always giving me crap about this. He's like, you need to play hard to get. You know, you need to just play hard to get and you know don't just be so giving and don't be so available he's like i know it's gonna feel like you're playing games and i was like that's exactly what it is i don't play games you know what i mean like i just can't it's not in my dna i'm not wired that way to play games and i get it relationships are challenging friendships are challenging any sort of relationship that you engage in is challenging it's work Relationships aren't supposed to be easy. They're supposed to be great, but they're not supposed to be easy. And so relationships take work, but I'm sorry, if there is ever a relationship that requires me to play games, that's not a relationship that I want to be a participant in. So when he was explaining to me this theory about how, you know, some guys require you to play a game and to play hard to get and, you know, to not be so available. And I thought to myself, I was like, I would rather a guy that blows up my phone all damn day about how often he thinks about me than a guy that is, you know, so busy that I feel like he doesn't even think about me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a big texter when I like someone. I prefer to have a conversation because I feel like things get lost in textation a lot these days. Not to mention that it's very impersonal. And when you're trying to get to know someone, it's important to get to know them uh, on a more intimate or personal level. You know, like you want to hear their voice inflection and what, what stuff you say makes them laugh or makes them smile or annoys them or, you know, whatever. Just learning stuff about a person. So I'm definitely not a fan of playing games. I never have been. I never will be. And I feel like eventually with time, when it's my time to meet someone, they're going to be just like me. We're not going to, um, you know, play this whole game of like cat and mouse to keep it interesting. Now I'm going to go in with Glossier's Boy Brow. I'm having a horrible brow day today. And it's totally not even the brow whiz because I used the brow whiz for years. It's the shape. I feel like I need to go back to Claria and adjust my shape. You guys, I'm telling you, I turned 32 and I'm falling apart. Like my face is out of place, getting wrinkles. I'm not complaining. I am a little complaining about like having to change my diet and stuff like that, but everything else, I don't know, I like it. I feel like the older I get, the more I look like my mom and I'll walk past a mirror sometimes and I'll like literally see my mom. And you'd think I'd get scared because my mom is one scary lady. <laughs> 
But I don't. I just get really excited because I feel like she's with me at all times. You know, it's kind of nice. I totally have my mom's face and then uh, my dad's, my dad and his side of the family's body. Like, they're all very tall and lanky. And then I have my mom's, like, Jim Carrey expressive face. Except my mom has um, resting bee face. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? I don't have that. I have, like, that aloof expression where I'm always like, squirrel, you know? <laughs> I'm always looking at things and random things will make me smile and so I'll be that like random person just randomly smiling at like a, I don't know, supermarket or whatever. Um, so back on the topic or back on subject, I don't play games. Like I just can't, I'm not wired that way. I really can't, it, I don't feel good about it. I can't, uh, I can't genuinely participate in playing games. Like. I don't think I would even know how, to be quite honest. The problem is though, and this is literally the story of my life. I just added extra powder so that um, if I have any fallout, if, and I say if very loosely because I always have fallout, cause I'm an animal. So, um, the problem with me is I'm trying to find this happy medium in my life and this day, like at this present time in my life where let me bring you guys in closer so you can see what I'm doing with my eyes. And you're gonna see my billboard face and see how I like this palette. I'm pretty sure I'll love it because uh, I really like the Miss Gen Fabulous palette and I'm sure they use the same manufacturer of products. My only concern is that Love Melissa Michelle is very tan. Um, in a very tan, I hate you kind of way, like golden and delicious. So some of these colors I feel might be a little dark on me, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to live my life and let you guys know. So here is a little close up of the actual palette. How pretty is that? The blush looks like I need it all over my face. So, all right, back to the story. The story of my life is every man that has broken my heart, there's been quite a few. <laughs> Every man that has broken my heart because I'm too much, you know, and I'm just like, they're not ready for someone like me and da 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 da. All, every man that has broken my heart um, down the road has come back into my life and said, you're the one that got away. Now, that totally made me sound like a narcissist or like a D-bag, but that's not what I meant. The point of what I'm trying to make is I feel like I'm that good woman that people can't appreciate until she's gone. And that's one of the crappiest feelings ever. You know what I mean? Like, it's like my mom was telling me the other day, she was like, you know, they just have to see how good they had it. So you just need to like make yourself unavailable. And I'm like, I don't want to make myself unavailable to people that I genuinely like spending time with. You know what I mean? But I guess it's kind of like what they say, where you have something in excess, then it doesn't become, then it loses like its novelty or whatever, I guess. Whatever, you guys. You know what? I've always been that person. All right, so what I did is I took Wheezy and I put that on my brow bone. And then I'm going to take, oh, I can't decide. What am I going to do? Look at that coppery color right there. Um, this one or this one? This one or this one? This one or this one? I'm so tan that I feel like I need to stick with the warms. Because <laughs> I'm tan. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm so annoying. How about I mix? I'm going to mix rosemary and tobo, these two. I'll mix them and then I'm going to apply that as my transition shade. Um, yeah, so I was telling my mom, I was like, I don't want to do that. When I want to see someone, or when I like someone, I like spending time with them. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Like, um, that's as basic as it is. I like you. I want to see you. And this is, I, I'm talking about like love and friendship. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, to me, it's, it's, it's relationships in general. I like you. I want to see you. I don't like you. I'm not going to see you. So what I was telling you guys is that I need to find that like happy medium right now in my life where so I don't like playing games, but I definitely can find other ways to invest my time. So if someone is making me feel like maybe I'm not a priority or they have other things or better things to do, 
then I need to get the message. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to realize that if someone is making you feel unimportant, listen to them. You probably are. <laughs> So take the message and find something to do. And then the thing is that where I need to find that like happy medium is once I walk away, like I'm gone, I'm done. Like you're dead to me. And I don't mean dead. Like I never want to see you again. Like don't call me, forget my number. I just mean like once, once the switch is flipped, the switch is flipped. Like there's no going back, you know? And that specifically is talking about like romantic relationships. You know what I mean? When someone can't appreciate you, and makes you feel like maybe they don't have time for you, just take the message and they probably don't have time for you and you'd be better off by yourself going to the mall and getting yourself a Wetzel's pretzel with spicy cheese. Not that I'm familiar with what that feels like, but the pretzel bites are really good, you guys. <laughs> so these two eyeshadows mixed together are literally giving me goosebumps. Can we talk about how stunning that is? It's probably because I have a tan. <laughs> If you guys are new to my channel, you're probably like, what are you talking about, you crazy person? <laughs> so I am one of the fairest skin people in my family, I would say. And it's funny because when I was growing up, um, they, used to call, <laughs> they used to call me prieta, which means like tan skin. Um, and so it just stuck with me. People just assumed I was tan. And then when you actually see me or the foundation shades that I would need to buy, it was like, wow, you're actually pretty fair. But since I've been spending time in the sun, my teeth look whiter, my skin is golden. Look at this nail polish. This is from KL Polish. You guys, I'm like all covered in YouTuber stuff right now. <laughs> all right, so for the lid, oh, I don't know. They're probably gonna need to take my Costco picture. So I think I'm just gonna go in with Lola, maybe. Lola's this beautiful shade right here. I'll take that and I'll just use my finger because I know my finger best. Holy moly! Look at that! Do you see that? Oh, that's beautiful! I was not expecting that. You guys, after trying the um, Maybelline, those new little Maybelline eyeshadow sets, I think they're kints or quads or something. They have several eyeshadow colors in there. Everyone's like, oh my God, they're so good. I'm like, really? <laughs> On what planet? I thought it was gonna be like that, where they're like flaky, like like flex, like little flex instead of an actual solid eyeshadow. <gasps> this is so pretty. This is a really beautiful color that she picked too, because if you have cool tones, or warm tones, this is gonna look amazing on your complexion. I have, do you guys see my claw hand? <laughs> I have um, neutral undertone. I don't know at what point my camera cut me off, but I'll start all over. Um, this is a really beautiful um, gold shade because it's a neutral gold. It's not leaning yellow and it's also not leaning icy. It's a very, very neutral gold. So it's almost like a champagne. So if you guys have cool undertones or warm undertones or neutral like me, it's gonna look awesome. I really like this color. I'm so happy, it's all working out. Look at how pretty that is. And I can imagine if you wet it, it's a lot more metallic. Um, then I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush. This is from Coastal Scents. It's like the uh, 217 dupe. And then I'm gonna take just the color Rosemary. That's this color right here. Take a little bit of that. And that's gonna go on the outer third of the lid and the crease just to create a little bit of depth. We're also gonna run that same shade on the lower lash line. I don't know if I wanna do eyeliner today. Usually I do black in the tight line and the waterline or like a really dark brown, but I don't know, I kinda of wanna keep it fresh. I feel like my eyes are looking way too big, so I'm gonna try and close them up a little bit with this dark shade. This is called Harley. Just a little bump of that, and I'm gonna put it right in here. I took way too much of uh, rosemary. A little bit too much. It's all right. It's part of blending, right? That's always my excuse. Oh, it's just, it's part of the blending process. It's nothing to do with the fact that I made a mistake or anything. It's just, it's just, you know, we're just blending colors. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. All right, so now we're gonna dust off that extra or excess powder. 
without poking our eyes out. Now take a smaller shader brush like this one and we're going to take that color rosemary again because we haven't learned our lesson apparently and we are going to run that on the lower lash line. Since I'm so tan right now, <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Since I'm so tan right now, this is a really, really good, um, you know, kind of like soft blended color. See, it doesn't stick out that much because I'm so tan. I'm so annoying, you guys. My mom, when I was little, she would, she would often ask me like, do you annoy yourself? And I was like, quite often. <laughs> quite often, but it never made me want to change. It was never like, oh, all right, well, you're way too chipper. I've had some people that are embarrassed of my personality. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like, oh, it's a little bit too much. Or, you know, you're just way too perky. Like, I can't do it. And I respect that, you know, because there's some people that for me, um, it's very difficult to be around. Um, I used to have a friend that I just had to distance myself from because no matter what I would say or do, it was always pointing out the negative. So it would be like, oh my God, I love the rain. Isn't it beautiful? Like, I love this weather. She's like, yeah, but you're gonna, you know, gotta expect the flooding. Or, oh my God, you know, the day is so beautiful. Like it's bright and sunny and clear. Oh, but it's too damn hot, you know? And so it, you, it, it wouldn't matter what happened. Like, oh my God, look, a newborn baby. Psh, newborn babies are ugly. You know? <laughs> just being around her just like drained my energy. And I was like, I am so sorry, but I'm probably going to have to ghost you at some point. I didn't ghost her, kind of, because, okay, maybe I did a little bit, but you just can't have that like heaviness around you all the time. So I get firsthand what it is like to, you know, not vibe with someone. So I understand it. Now I'm taking a Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in brown and I'm putting that on the top lash line or on the top waterline actually. On the top waterline on the tight line, you know what I'm saying. I'm putting it right here, you know, where it's uncomfortable and you're like poking your eye essentially, right there. Um, I have a, a friend of mine that is always like, dude, like before 7 a.m., don't call me, don't text me. Like I can't do Princess Poppy first thing in the morning. Cause for him, he's not a morning person. And I mean, you could call me at 4.30 in the morning. And I'm like, hey guys, what's up? You know, <laughs> hey, you know, and this is before coffee. That's just how I am. I'm so excited when I wake up in the morning cause it's a whole new day. It's like, hey, what are we gonna do today that matters? What's, what's, on, the, what's on the agenda today? I don't know, I'm just a perky morning person. Unless there was a lot of fun that happened on the night before, then I'm like, instead of being at like a level 20 of perk, I'm like at a level 17. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, now I'm gonna jump off camera and do my mascara, top and bottom lashes, and then when I get back, we'll do face and lips. And we'll be all done. All right, guys. So I went ahead and finished my eyes, or rather, just the mascara. Now what I'm going to do is um, a little bronzer and then um, the blush that's in this palette, which I have a feeling I'm going to really, really like. But I have to use a light hand since I'm not that tan. <laughs> How pretty is that blush? Super pretty. I don't know about the highlighter, though. I think the highlighter might be too... All right, I need to stop speaking out of turn, guys. So for bronzer, um, should I use this one? Or, it's been a while. Let's use this one, uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil. I haven't used this guy in a little bit. So we're gonna take the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and my setting brush from Real Techniques. And we're going to fake some cheekbones over here. Then take the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and the same product. And I like to, I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but I like to take it to the pan sideways like that and I push so I don't get so much product and the product is only on one side of the brush. And then when I touch my face, I go on the same angle and then I sort of blend up. So I'm not actually using like the tip of the brush, I'm using the side of it. So I deposit a little bit more product, but I also blend out the product 
that I originally put or deposited with the um, setting brush. So then the look is a lot more diffused. So again, I go like that and then go right on the fake cheekbone line and then blend up. Then I'm gonna go in with my MAC 127. That's my favorite blush brush and the color Mahal, which is her heart shaped blush. How cute is that? This is gonna be really pigmented, so I have to be careful, but it's so pretty. It's like a mauve -y. it's like a nudie mauve. The cool thing about this blush, besides the fact that it blends real easy, is that it's a beautiful mauve nude, but it's deep enough for deeper complexions. It's also light enough for someone like me that has to practice self-control and use a light hand. Um, and then it gives you a really beautiful, like healthy, healthy blush. You know what I mean? Like I was gonna say glow, but it's a matte blush, but it gives you a really, really healthy blush to your, um, dang, I did really good blending today. Look at that double chin. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Then I'm gonna take my favorite baby brush from Senna Cosmetics and I'm gonna take, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna take the two, this is like, do you see the, the gradients on here? Or the, rather, it's like a Napoleon. You see the three levels? I'm just gonna focus on these two right here, like the champagne and the rosy one, and just run my brush on there and hope that it works. Oh, snap. That's really pretty. Man. That's really, really pretty. And the combination, kind of like, um, side note, the combination of this priming moisturizer and the Laura Mercier foundation is amazing. Can't forget the nose, my unicorns. All right, maybe I overdid it a little bit, but who's judging, right? No one needs to judge how much highlighter you use, you guys. Nobody. And if they do, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. If you want your nose to shine so bright that it makes airplanes crash, then you do that. Like, you live your highlighter life. What do we think? Holy moly, I really like it. Now, uh, Melissa's palette does include a matte liquid lipstick, and I'm not gonna use it today because I'm not feeling a super matte lip. Um, but if you guys are interested in my point of view on this palette, I really liked it. Um, I'm not surprised because like I told you guys, the um, Miss Jen Fabulous palette was amazing. Or it was fabulous. <laughs> um, and they just blend really well. I feel kind of like a little ridiculous because I was a little bit extra surprised at how much I like them. Um, Cause I knew I was gonna like it, but I was like, dang, I really like it. I love the combination of colors and products that she chose because they're definitely like multi-complexion friendly. So moving on to lips and then we are done. I don't know what I wanna wear for my lip color. Like I can't decide. I don't wanna do anything matte. My eyes are pretty nude, but then I feel like I tied in a little bit of mauve on the cheeks. So it could go both ways. All right, we're gonna take two oldies but goodies. Two products from Charlotte Tilbury, which were in my favorites for quite a bit. Actually, let me take my beauty blender first and just go over my lips so that my lip product lasts a little bit longer. Um, and I'm going to take the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk and I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna try and go out a little bit more so that my lips look bigger than usual. When I'm overlining my lips, let's confess, we all do it, I only overline this little curve down here and just by the littlest, like the smallest fraction ever, just the littlest tiny bit on this bottom curve and then I cross over my cupid's bow. So instead of, cro like, instead of carving out my cupid's bow, I go straight across it um, and that's it. I don't do anything other than that. My cupid's bow is really sharp and I don't like it so I just kind of go around the edges like I try to round it out and then go straight across the actual dip. I know that sounds a little weird, but it works. Or rather, I like it. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with the lip color Bitch Perfect. Sorry for the profanity, that's the actual name of the lipstick that all of you guys need in your lives. This is in my monthly favorites, I think I said that already. This combo was in my monthly favorites for a while. It's one of the prettiest 
pinky nude combos ever. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys were interested in the Love Melissa Michelle palette, um, hello, told you, delicious tan, right? Um, it is available at Ulta. It is limited edition. I will link it in the description box below. I will have to update you guys on that Smashbox primer and the Laura Mercier foundation, but just raw first impression, kind of really digging it. So what I think I'm going to do is just so that I can actually review the foundation thoroughly is I'll get the appropriate shade or the right color so that I can give you guys my honest feedback. But look forward to my current favorites or monthly favorites where I can update you guys on the foundation and the uh, priming moisturizer. Um, another thing is you need this lip combo and that is all for today. That's all we got guys. That's all we got for this Get Ready With Me. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be about an hour long because Danny got a little soapboxy. Uh, anyway, you guys, I love you so much. And you know what to do. 